there was testosterone. Uh, so, and I did see a transfusion, a blood transfusion. All of those things are banned in races and in training. So why would a rider take the chance of getting caught? Well, it's hard to imagine the endurance demanded by the Tour de France. 21 days, 2,000 miles, and a vicious vertical climb totaling some 50,000 feet in all. This ordeal is one reason that cycling became a dirty sport. Armstrong won seven times, and in those seven races, all of the second and third place finishers except one were at some point implicated in doping. Armstrong's story appeared miraculous. He'd won more tours than any man and claimed to have done it as one of the only clean racers at the top of the sport. Is there evidence? Where is evidence of doping here? If there's little physical evidence, Hamilton says there are a number of witnesses. He told us that Armstrong was doping the very first time he won the tour. One of the drugs, EPO, boosts the production of red blood cells to enhance endurance. Yeah. He was using EPO in the Tour de France in 1999. Correct. He was using EPO in the Tour de France in the year 2000. He used it before to prepare for the Tour. And what about the Tour in 2001? He used it to prepare for the Tour. I can't say that he used it during the Tour. What did you actually witness? Uh, I mean, I, I saw it in his refrigerator. You know, I saw him injected more than one time. You saw Lance Armstrong inject EPO. Yeah, like we all did. Like I did many, many times. You like, saw it more than once? I think I saw it a couple times. It appears the